Hello, um, a very surprise um, charity shop haul because I really wasn't planning to go this morning, but I had to go and meet a lady to discuss all about raising money for my son's school and we're going to put on a school a ball. <sighs> God only knows. Anyway, it's going to be brilliant. But of course, because there was a gap between me dropping hubby at work and the meeting, I decided to take a little trip out and pop into one of my favourite charity shop hall, um, charity shop halls, one of my charity shops, which is a big favourite of mine. Um, not only did I get there just as it was opening, but there's a little little board outside that said, all clothes, two pounds. Well, needless to say, deeply, deeply happy about that because that doesn't happen very often. They don't, I don't think they plan it. I think they just suddenly kind of, think you know what we've got tons of chisel as as countess close would put it uh we need to get rid of it so let's just do it to my delight first one in the shop pretty much and wonderful pickings um i spent 40 pounds which is 20 items which i'll show you i did actually buy one other thing uh from a next door charity shop that cost me three pounds so i'll show you that as well Oh, hello, we've got Scooby Shaggy. Good morning. Flipping fantastic finds. Hello, Kelly. Um, and she's always flipping talking now. I'm, all, I'm so, so bad with connecting the names up. That's Kath. Am I right? I think I might be right. Do tell me if I'm wrong, because I'm really sorry, but I have a major thing with names sometimes. And if I get it wrong once, I'll get it wrong forever. So if I ever call any of you by the wrong name, please Mandy, it's exactly, you see? Oh, dear God. This is what happens. I get it wrong once, and I'll get it wrong forever. So I I can only apologise profusely. I'm so, so, so sorry. <laughs> Kelly and Mandy, why do I muddle you two up? I think it's probably because I got to know you around the same time. And the image, yeah, <laughs> the image, the image doesn't kind of uh, sort itself out, Kelly. So, yes, Mandy. It's Mandy. So Kath must be... I don't know. God, isn't that awful? You'll be in about 10, Karen. You've got to get photos done. Well, exactly. I thought, I'll come on now because it's sort of lunchtime. And, of course, I've got a photograph this lot. So you can always watch it back. I'll try and go slow. Yes, Kath, it's in your name. And um, thank God you help idiots like me out. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I really, I really have got myself in a muddle sometimes. And it's not good. I'm squeaking leather. <laughs> I'm squeaking leather. <laughs> She's always flipping talking, is Mandy. I know you by the thing is, I, know, I always recognize people by face, I know them, but sometimes the name wiring is faulty. Gemma, hello. You are, <laughs> you're supposed to be working, Gemma. Is that, it's all my fault, and for which I can only apologize. I'm not going to be on here long, so I really, I know it's Monday and everybody's busy, but I, I was so excited I had to share. This is a quite a big, long. Um, sort of straight style coat. It's a, I suppose it's almost a car coat. It's one of those sort of halfway down your leg varieties. It is leather. It cost me three pounds, so I had to have it. I'd seen this in the shop before um, and they wanted 10 pounds for it. Um, and I didn't mind paying uh, three pounds at all because it's, oh, you can't really see that, look at that. Apologies for my lighting. It's actually four women. And if you see that, that's John Lewis. My device isn't fully protected. Let me just get rid of that. That's my husband's area, not mine. <laughs> leather. I'm squeaking with leather. It's true leather. And it is John Lewis. So when you see four women, they're not being sexist. That's the John Lewis label. Um, and I always check. It says leather, leather, etc., etc. So it's it, and it's a size. It was a really, really good size as well. 22 it's a uk 22 and it's gorgeous it doesn't look like it's been worn it's beautiful leather nice big deep pockets and i do think that this sort of straighter style seems is going to be coming back in again i'm sure i have seen it about and it's creaky <laughs> it is creaky again yes same here kelly it's that thing where once i know somebody and i've got their name it's there forever but if i get it wrong in the first few goes or meet two people at the same time, the chances of me kind of switching their names over 
is is high. Sorry, I'm bouncing myself around because you're balanced on some pillows because I need to be far enough away to show you clothes, but not so far away that I can't actually see what's going on in the chat. <laughs> so that was a lovely find. I mean, I don't know what they go for. Like I said, I've, I've just got in. I've just walloped a sandwich in my face. So no research has been done, um, for which I can only apologise. And I'm sitting here with three bags of stuff. Everything I'm about to show you was two pounds, two whole English pounds. And I'm dead excited because I'm wandering around in them, arms full of stuff. They must think I'm strange. Now, this first thing pretty much is probably going to end up being for me. Because it had, you see, I picked this up at the jumble sale. You can't really see, can you? That looks like it's my boot, but it's not. Um, stars. I have a thing about stars, particularly ones with five points, as those who know me will know. Um, and this this is this hasn't got wool in it, but it's not a nasty it's not a nasty man made one, and I can actually wear it without getting all static and all unnecessary. So I thought, right, this is a real hit. So when I saw this one with stars on it, I thought, actually, and it's my colour. I love it. They're they're, they're very oversized. I mean, it's enormous. It's very oversized, and this one's meant to be oversized. This one just is oversized on me. I don't know the brand, but this is this is our motto, ladies. Peace and love, hippie. Um, <laughs> so I figured I'd give that a go, and if it doesn't suit me, then obviously I'll sell it on. It's one of these old ones where they they sort of have a very oversized body, and then these teeny weeny little arms. It's like, is it made for a T-Rex? I wonder. So I'll have to see if that style suits me or whether I just look hideous. But again, it hasn't got any um, wool in it, so it's not going to make me itch. It needs a debobble, but that was bought for me with me in mind rather than profit. <laughs> I just like a twinkly star. I, I can't help myself. I have to, oh, what have I got here? Now, this was a bit of a strange one because I don't know what this will go for. But at two pounds, I took a punt because I'm always taking punts. Shostarini, hello. <laughs> here we go again. This maybe isn't lovely in the same way, but this, this is Mr. Marley, Bob to his friends. <laughs> Um, and I know there's a lot of people who are very, very fond of Mr. Marley and quite like to advertise that they like him. What fascinates me is the label says Zion. Zion. Oh, God, that is odd, actually. Zion Roots Wear. And it's an XXL, so a good size. Possibly a label. I wasn't going to get my phone out in this store. I literally went around sort of sweeping things off shelves. Um, but... It's not a tour t-shirt or anything, but I just had a feel that somebody might like that. And for the two pounds I paid for it, I thought I'll take a gamble. Oh, I'm going down the shed. OK, take me to the shed. I'm sure your shed's lovelier than mine. Mine's full of all my packing materials, actually, <laughs> at the moment. Right, I'll put that over there. Now, this, this was lovely. It's so soft. It's a coat, well, it's a, a jacket again, a car jacket, I would say. And strangely, it is mint velvet. Now, I have, a, I know this means good quality, but if I see one of these in a coat, I have to take it out if it's for me, because it would irritate the bugger out of the back of my neck. Oh, shouldn't say that really, should I? Do not swear, you are all jelly. Um, this is gorgeous. It's a really weird colour. It's the kind of colour that makes me look like I've died. It's that kind of... I'm trying to be pink, but I'm sort of grey. There's nothing wrong with this. It is, it's double-breasted. Um, it's a real sort of nice texture. You probably can't see it. Really. Nice, a nice texture. That, two pounds. This is the point at which I start skipping around the store, which isn't a good look, trust me. Not someone my size. Um, it's, it's such a lovely jacket. What size is it? It's a 14. That's a good size. So I'm really hoping, I'm thinking that's, that's got, got to have quite a lot of decent money in it. It's clearly been worn and there might be a little debobbing needing to happen around the neck area, but very little. It's just got fluff from other things on it. Just really nice, a very straight, double-breasted, blazery style coat. Not too heavy. Again, I know we're coming to the end of coat season, but maybe not. <laughs> if some of you people out there are going to get snow, um... I, um, I'd quite like it if we had snow, but there's a lot of people that wouldn't. 
Now, this I picked up. This is only Next. I say only Next. There's nothing wrong with Next. It's not a brand I particularly seek out. But it's a maxi skirt. It's black. It's cotton. And it's got so much material in it that it makes it very swishy. And I, I know I have lots of friends who like all these sorts of things, and I do as well. It's not my size, so I won't be wearing it. No, it's a 10. I definitely won't be wearing it. That would re require a considerable weight loss and probably half of my skeleton. Um, but again, at two pounds, I thought, well, I can flip that. I'm trying to hold off buying skirts. I don't know about how skirts are going for you out there. But I am finding them a bit sticky at the moment, unless they're a kilt. The kilt seems to be going well. Oh, I, I'm peering here because I'm seeing Peter in the chat. You're doing a marathon. You're doing a marathon photographing session, like new photos and retaking, retaking some. Hi, Peter. Well, good for you. Yes, I'm sure I've got old stock that I should redo, actually. But yeah, one day maybe. But you know, it's worth doing photography in big batches. I find I, I kind of get a bit of a. A thing on for it. Um, I can't just be bothered to kind of get all set up for a couple of things. No, I said kilt, didn't I? Look at that for tartan. It is very tartany. I know these go well. I this this was the one product I sold yesterday when I had it, and yet today I've had amazing sales. eBay switched me back on again. Clearly, this is Viella, so it's a nice brand. It says sixteen, but that's not. I don't think that's a modern sixteen. I will measure it, of course. <laughs> But box pleats, midi length, this bang on trend right now. This is, I'm going to get this drafted and this is going on tonight um, because they fly out the door. It's just very, very vibrant. In fact, you can't really see how vibrant because my light's doing funny things. I've got, yeah, very professional lighting studio, as you can see, even, even down to the bit of paint that, skipped off the wardrobe and onto the wall that husband didn't fix <laughs> never mind i'm not doing your room tour you don't need to see this you really don't hello ginger witch no notification oh no i don't quite know how that works i know when i'm watching people sometimes i don't get a notification for them even though i'm subbed and i've done the little bell thing and um yeah it seems it's not entirely foolproof <laughs> So, yeah, right. Okay, there's a few people in. That's lovely. Oh, oh, this, this is probably, I mean, mint velvet was good, but this, I don't think I can even show it to you very well because it's huge. This had a ticket price of £15 on it, and it was sort of hung on the side, and I'm thinking if the manager sees this, she's going to, she's going to cry because she's going to let it go for £2. Unbelled out and then rebelled. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, I think. Is that a verb to bell? <laughs> yes, no, I'm with you now. This is Fen Wright and Manson. And again, it's one of those labels that isn't always a big hit. But this is a coat with a velvet collar. Stroke, stroke. Um, a textured fabric and velvet sleeves. And it's maxi. It's, it's super long. Well, midi to maxi, depending on your height. Might be midi on me. But its I think it's like what they call an opera coat. It is a verb now, to be belled, <laughs> to debell, <laughs> and to rebell again. Yeah, hard to show you. It's got a single fastening, um, sort of a, what do they call this? Is it, no, it's not a sash collar. It's a, might be a sash collar. Oh, and a, and a lovely, beautiful sort of woven button. So it's probably what you would call, oh dear, lighting. No, it's not really working. Yeah. See you later, Peter. Well done for doing your photography. <laughs> it's what I would call an opera coat. I don't I don't know if it is vintage. I think it probably isn't. But, geez, it's gorgeous. I don't know what size it is, actually. Somebody has done, why do people cut the size label out? I don't want people to know what size they are. Does it matter? Um, yeah, that's missing a size label, so I'm going to have to try it on, make sure it doesn't fit me, and then try and sell it. But I'm thinking, yeah, they wanted 15 for it, so they knew it was good. Um, it was hung up on a day when they say £2 for all clothes, so I had that. 
I mean, that's going to pay for the whole batch, I would think. It's got to be easily a 60, 70 pound coat. <clears throat> and then, this is a colour that some people particularly, particularly like, this sort of mustardy thing. Um, it's long sleeved and it's sea salt. And we all love a bit of sea salt. I don't know how well these do. I don't know how much there is in it, but for two pounds, I mean, obviously I'm going to do all right. Um, it looks like it's barely been worn. So it's in pretty good nick. I, I Even sea salt and things like that, if something's looking very bobbly or very worn, then I'm, you know, I think twice about paying. Normally they would have wanted something like four for this. And I might have thought, mm, and actually looked it up. But I didn't bother looking anything up today because... I, none of these are going to be fails. It's just how good they are, how long they take to ship. It's always the game. Um, right, I'm just putting them back in the bag. I don't lose everything. But my mint velvet jacket was a definite hit. I mean, there's one. I've not sold a jacket of theirs. I, I mean, obviously with mint velvet, more often than not, it's jumpers. I keep thinking they're marks, but they're not the bits of fun. More often it's things like jumpers. Um, tops. That's what I've seen most of around our way. But, anywho, <laughs> right, moving on to a bit of monsoon. Now, monsoon can be a little bit hit and miss, um, but with spring around the corner and weddings, good keywords, um, this was rather lovely because it's actually two layered, so you've got a kind of devore. It's not velvet, but you've got a kind of burnout effect with net and net there. And then there's, gosh, it's, it's layers. It's like a confection. There's this sort of inner lining. Then there's netting for volume and outer layer. So it's very special occasion kind of dress. This isn't your everyday nipping down to Sainsbury's, is it? Well, not for me, it wouldn't be. <laughs> I'd look absurd. Um, and that's a monsoon, and that was a size 12. And particularly with the summer and wedding season approaching, you know, I am seeing that these kinds of things are starting to move where they've been a bit sticky beforehand. So there is a definite seasonality with some things that everything sells all year round. It just sells better at certain at certain times. Oh, hello. Oh, and what are we seeing here? One day my prince will come. And that would be before I start retaking any photos for sure. Yes, I'm kind of in the same thing. thing. I really ought to go back and, and I'm like, can I be asked? No, I can't. I really haven't got the time. Um, time is precious. This is a particularly purple purple. Definitely not my shade. However, it's another little nice dress. It's a silk. Is it a silk blend or a silk? But it's a size eight. It's monsoon again. These little dresses, I think, are nice occasion things. Let me just check and see if we're silk or if we are mixed. This is 100% silk. The problem with silk is, depending on the light, sometimes you can get little stains on them that just don't show up until you get them under a particular light, and then you're thinking, geez, why did I pick that up? Particularly if they've been worn, you find it's it's event dresses where someone's sort of had a rubber chicken event, if you know what I mean. They've gone to... They've gone from the meal and then they've spilt something down the front and not cleaned it off properly and then the dress gets discarded. But depending on the lighting, you can't always see and you never get it out of silk. So that was rather lovely. That was a slightly smaller size of a monsoon dress. It's a very dressy day today. You haven't missed it all. You can always backtrack a bit. I am planning through it in a bit of a rate because now I've got a photograph ill. <laughs> it is a verb now. Unbelled and rebelled. <laughs> I like that. Uh, right, well, I picked this dress up because there was lace. Um, yes, there was lace. And, and these, these sorts of dresses, I think, they're always going to sell. I couldn't see the label to start off with. It's got a big, a big silky sash around the middle. This is another midi length dress. I think that seems to be a popular length of dress for some people. I'm not a fan of the midi dress. I don't think it works particularly well. I always used to say when I was younger, I wear my wear my dresses, skirts and dresses long, very long or very short. I don't wear them very short these days. It has to be said. Back in the day, yes, of course. <laughs> but I know my limits. <laughs> I think I went past them years ago. Right, trying to find the label for you. 
Laura Ashley. Modern Laura Ashley. I can take it or leave it, but if I like the design, which I did in this case, this is a nice occasion dress, I figure for two pounds, who's going to leave? Ah, so you've been doing photography for some of your bits you got today, so you've got new ones. Hobbs dress for five pounds, that's nice. Aqu aqua scooting for a pound. Well, you've had success too. I'm glad you've done well. I was just I was just saying, Karen, I've actually had uh, a really good sales day today. Yesterday, tumbleweed, one sale and the promise of a return. Some days are normally good for me. I had a load of auction then, not a single taker. They've all gone back on this on, on a price now. Um, and I thought, what have I done? I woke up this morning to two sales before I even started, one of which is ski boots. And um, I've sold, since I've been out and come back, quite a few more. So I'm at about 160 quid for today. The glory of eBay. One thing I need to notice, if anyone's been doing relists, I've found now that when I'm relisting, it's going on as good till cancelled. It's not giving me an option. So I think what's happening is that when you come round to renew from here on in, because we're now well into March, that it's making a good till cancelled so that when we get to April, practically everything listed will be good till cancelled. Because I was thinking, where's my unsolds gone? There weren't any, and I'm pretty sure I didn't renew any yet today. I went on there to see that they're, they're going on as good till cancelled as they come off the 30-day listing. But what I think it's going to continue to show you, and I'm just saying here what I think I've noticed, is they still tell you when it was listed so you can still see what's new and what's old, um, which will be useful if you're one of those people that wants to take them on and put them off. Take them off and put them on again, if you know what I mean. God, that was complicated. I'm not sure I understood myself there. Um, so, yeah, I think the process has begun. Who's in bed out of whose way? Oh, hang on, I'm backtracking a little bit here. Carl's got the bug now. Oh, my. This this bug seems to be absolutely horrific. I mean, Andrea, when she was on last night, and I wasn't able to watch it live because Sunday evenings aren't particularly good for me, being able to sit down and do that sort of thing. Um, you know, she still looked quite pale, and, and Nick was going into great detail about how her um, sort of appointment with the toilet was noisy. <laughs> she was up chucking. So, yeah, it seems horrible. Um, I'm praying I don't get it myself, and I hope none of you want to get it if you haven't had it already. No sales here, but a return received. No. Yeah, you'd be a great nurse, Karen. I, I could see the sympathy. <laughs> I think so, yes. What's ending soonest? And that's how my... Um, Oh, DBG, hello. You've missed some of it. You can always backtrack, love, but I've still got a, I've still got one big bag to go. <laughs> I spent, I spent um, £40 on 20 items um, and one £3 purchase on a leather, a leather jacket. This is Ted Baker. Again, I don't always pick up Ted Baker. I thought this is quite sweet. It's tiny. It's a teeny tiny nitty dress. It's in an eight. Um, but this was the first thing I saw and I thought, you know, why not? A size one. That is a size eight, isn't it? A size one. So three is a 12. So, yeah. OK. But that is teeny tiny. I mean, obviously, it sort of will expand a little bit. But that's that's for a, a beautiful skinny mini there. I can see a little bit of a mark on the arm, which probably could be food. <laughs> so I'll, I'll investigate that. That's quite nice, though. It's a nice, soft, knitted little thing there. So, the final bag. I am getting a sore throat, though. I have noticed that. So I'm really hoping that doesn't turn into anything horrible. The funny thing is, is I'm, when I was going through their, their racks, I actually noticed things that I'd seen there the previous week that I didn't want to pay out for. So, how lovely was that? I keep on getting these bits of plastic. All right, we all like a bit of Max. As in, this is Max Studio. Max Mar, it's Max Studio. Um, still a good brand. The geometric's quite nice. I think that might be a mini dress or a long tunic. I'm not entirely sure. My, my eyes go funny looking at it. It's really nice, soft, heavy quality jersey. You know, you can see how it's been sort of knitted. It's not just a 
thing. And it's a medium size Mac Studio Weekend, not their highest label, but again, that'll easily go. People like sleeves in things. That should do quite nicely. It's really like, it feels so good. I'm sure I'll try a few of these on later. Hello, Chris B. Or Crispy, as I thought you were called for ages when your name's being read out. Crispy, Crispy what? <laughs> uh, now, so uh, yes, we need a haul from Karen, don't we? Because she's picked up all sorts. Converse cardigan. Wow. Okay. Yeah, didn't know that. Oh, well, there you go. The international students drop off their lovely stuff, and and I've had I've had things that are um, I've had things that are obviously not bought in this country as well. And it's, it's amazing what you can find. Now, this is a label I've never heard of. But look, that's a dress. It's it's a a midi dress, I would say, with this on the end, a ribby end. I, no, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? A ribbed hen, <laughs> not a ribby end. <laughs> Ew. Right. Now, the brand I've not heard of. You probably can't even make that out. I think what it actually says is Matt de Missane. Matt de Missane. I think it's a sailory type brand. It's obviously French, I'm assuming. There we go. A 44, 12, 14. Not sure. But again, it was the fact that it's a really thick knitted cotton thing and it's unusual it's quirky people like pinafores as we know lex oliver <coughs> mentioning no names um it's just really funky it's quite long i like the buttons as well they've got this sort of it's very nautical i mean nautical never really goes out wooden buttons so it's quite a high-end thing um i'll probably have to research that one and look it up but it it appealed I don't just go by brands. It's, you know, if I like the design as well, that helps. Oh, some more chat coming in here. Oh, you're just listing. Have Jumbo ready for Wednesday. Ah, oh, I see. See, yes, it's all in. You might be getting crispy. You're getting to that age. Yes, it's when you rustle, when you walk. That's when you know things are ages setting in. No, I shouldn't say things like that, really. I mean, you know. We all go on about getting older, but think of the alternative. <laughs> right, this is corduroy. It's strange. It's a very long oops, and embroidered. It's actually been embroidered as well. It's really lovely. It's a bit hippie-ish. It's got um, hook and eyes to fasten it, sort of a jacket, collarless. Actually, is that meant to do all the way up? I think it is. Um... I know a lot of this sort of hippy dippy stuff does quite well. I'll just see if I, I can actually show you it. I've realised the hook and I need to repair. Because that's not going to do it. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's missing a hook. Luckily, I do have spare hooks and eyes. So that I can effect repairs because that's worth repairing. I, again, I don't know the brand. I don't think it is anything special. AMI in a size medium, mostly cotton with a little stretch, so it's not vintage. But I liked I liked the cuff. I thought that, I mean, how many, how big a cuff do you seriously need? That's, you can knock someone out with that. Um, more hippie boho than steampunk. Well, I thought that was quite nice. It's not lined. Um, but yeah, a bit quirky, definitely a quirky piece, which I like. Love a bit of quirkiness. You could see me wearing that. You know what? I probably would wear it, but it's brown. And if I wear brown, I just look monotone because I have, I guess it's very dark, but brown hair, brown eyes. And if I start wearing brown, I look a bit like I'm in camouflage. <laughs> Boho Hippie Festival. Mm. Blogger. Chic. <laughs> I don't know. Quirky, actually. That's my word of the week. I keep using quirky because it's, yeah. It, it just seems to sum it up. <laughs> ah, really going, really. <laughs> I'm crispy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll give you a new name now. Now, yes, something I will always pick up. Leather trousers. Has crispy got to go now? <laughs> oh, bye, Chris. It's nice to see you. These, these need airing. They've been... Stuck in someone's 
shed or cupboard. They look they look awful actually as I'm showing you. They are leather trousers. They are lined. They are actually a nice leather, but they've basically been screwed up and shoved in a bag for years. And they're going to need airing. But leather trousers, I find I have good success with. They're quite high-waisted, which is what we want. People don't want their bits hanging over the edge and getting muffin top. And the brand's not bad either. I don't know. It's not one I come across very often. We. Yes. We set. We say. We set. I'm not sure how that we pronounce. These are a GB12. And they are... Quite cool. They've actually got sort of not padded knees, but they're made to look like biker jeans. I will have to research the brand, but I do find I do okay with leather trousers, um, especially if they're a nice brand and a good quality leather. So they're going to have to be your own <laughs> your Marilyn Manson face. Well, there's always someone out there in a Marilyn Manson face. That's that's what I say. And I, you know, I, I'm a fan of the, the sort of faux leather stretchy trousers, to be honest, because we all leather back to squeaking as you walk isn't it um and they can be a bit restrictive because there's no giving the fabric Karen had leather trousers too oh yeah, well we've all been through phases <laughs> yes yes I, I've always liked leather trousers but when I was younger and probably could have worn them and rocked them much better than now I could never find any that actually fitted and it always be like a bucket waist or stupidly expensive Oh, dear, Chris, you like a bit of leather. And yes, you did say that out loud. <laughs> that is preserved now. <laughs> ah, here we go. A bit of long, tall Sally never goes amiss. And this is quite a lot of long, tall Sally. It is a dress. It's a jersey dress. It's a slightly darker red than... It's not as orange as it looks on the screen. Um, fairly basic design. But it is an 18, so that will certainly do someone a very good turn. It actually really doesn't look like it's been worn. It's, you know how you get that slight pilling on cotton if it's been in jersey, if it's been worn. This is in, a, in beautiful condition. Now this is my colour, <laughs> not dead salmon or whatever, <laughs> whatever people wear these days. Proper colours. Right, so that's really rather nice. It's even two pounds a piece. Not bad for all of this. <laughs> oh, hi, Swamp Picker. Hello. <laughs> wow. In America, it must be quite early in the morning, I'm guessing, for you right now. Louisiana. I'm, I'm not sure I've been to three Louisiana or two Louisiana. <laughs> and DBG was a horrid teenager, multicolored hair, face full of piercings, and wore new rock boots to school. Whoa. Your school let you wear new rock boots. Well, good on you. I want to see. I want to see photos. I want evidence. <laughs> That's brilliant. Why not? It all sounds rather cool. I, I love multicolored hair. I love seeing people with pink hair and blue hair, and, and you can't do it with mine. Maybe one day when it's all white, then I will start rocking silly colours, and I won't care. <laughs> But it's very difficult to, to do that with hair, my sort of colour, unless you bleach it to the hell and back and it probably would just fall out. And the bald treasure pirate is not something the world needs to see. Monsoon again. Monsoon. This says silk blend on it, so it will be a blend, not pure silk. Crispy's youth was misspent. Wild coloured hair, bondage trousers. It's funny how everyone was a punk. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, Karen says clothes at nine o'clock in the morning for Swamp Picker and Karen's been... To Florida, I've been on a Greyhound bus from New York City all the way down to Dallas. No, Fort Worth, Fort Worth, Texas. 38 hour trip and very interesting. I was, was about 20 at the time. Uh, I, so I spent time in Dallas, I've been to San Francisco and Sedona and all around that area, Las Vegas. Um, I, I might have gone through Louisiana, but I certainly, I, I must have been, because it, isn't it St. Louis where they have the big arch? I remember seeing that as I went through on the coach. But by that point, I think I was too tired to care. <laughs> love to go back to America, and I actually would love to go to Florida, because I've got a, a son who's quite keen to go to the Epcot Centre and all those sort of funky places. This, she says, getting horribly distracted, is a Devore 
silky velvet dress and it's this black background again with bold colours. Um, it's very swishy and swooshy. It's quite gorgeous actually. I don't think it's my size. It won't fit me anyway. Oh, okay. Well, it's a 14, so it could do, but it's strappy and I like this style. It's so comfortable and it's so lovely. And hopefully someone else else will think the same. <laughs> it's got, oh, that, that's interesting. Holding it up now, I can see, as you probably can, that it's lined to a point and then it's sheer. So definitely a nice dress. I've not seen ones like that before. So those are the kind of monsoon things that are, they're good bread and butter things that, you know, they sell. People want those monsoon dresses and they're horribly expensive here. <laughs> oh, these misspent youth. <laughs> oh, buy swamp bigger. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Um, yes. Love to go over there. Now, no, no collection will be complete without cashmere. Um, this is autograph. It's just a little cardigan, black, tiny size, 10. It needs quite the debobble. But for two pounds, I'm happy to debobble. Um, the autograph Marks and Spencers is a good one. Three quarter length sleeves. Lots of debobbling required. But as far as I could tell, no holes. Um, although even if things have holes, we all know that they can be sold for crafts or repair. That one looks in pretty good nick with all of its buttons. It's rather sweet. I do like cashmere. I just can't wear wool. <laughs> so really, for a £40 spend, we're getting near the bottom now. For £40 spend, you know, I mean, I'm going to make that, you know, easily. Easily, I'm going to make more than forty pounds on that on that opera coat alone. So you know, I'm quite hopeful with this. This I picked up because it is vintage, and I do like vintage. I clearly, never been worn, as it comes with a selection of really freaky buttons. Look at that! Ooh, that's a button and a half. Because I can't show you this very well because it's it's a sort of midi style dress. Very vintage Jaeger in that amazing electric blue that I think is quite a thing. It's unworn. It's kind of a bit like a coat dress. Remember they were very in in the kind of late 80s, early 90s. It's not got massive shoulder pads. It has a little bit of a shoulder pad. It's just really well made. And, and for once, there's no belt to lose. So it's pure new wool. The UK 14, US 12. Well, the US 12 is usually equivalent to a 16, so I suspect it's quite generous. But the fact that it's unworn, for two pounds, someone's going to love it. Oh, <laughs> very happy with that. And I'm on to the very last thing. Very last thing. Oh, someone making tea. Yes, sir. Leave the tea bag in. No sugar. <laughs> it's very 80s. You see, the thing is, when these things were out at the time, I really didn't like them. These kind of coat dress things were very straight because I couldn't wear them because I go in in the middle. And if I wear something that's like that, I, 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 it's just not me. Um, and that kind of power dressing stuff was never, never me anyway. Um, but love to sell them. Cashmere cardigan with a hole in the sleeve for 25 quid. Well done, Karen. Excellent. <laughs> go you. <laughs> it's quite regal looking. Actually, it is. It's um, that blue is. It's quite electric. It's it's a lovely phrase, a lovely thing. Uh, George popped in with a brew. Hello, George. Nice to see you. Love your videos. Very professional. Complete opposite to what goes on here, but you know, <laughs> we can admire. In fact, I've got the last item in my haul. So <laughs> there we go. These jeans, leopard print. That fades out and comes back in again. Probably why they caught my eye. They, they have been worn, they're not brand new or anything. What really caught my eye is the brand. Cavalli. It says just Cavalli, which I'm assuming is his jeans range. Um, is it Roberto Cavalli? On that luxury skinny leg 
Size 29, so it won't fit me. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, they've got all the all the right tags in and everything. I mean, maybe it's a brand that is fake, but it's got all the right tags in. Um, they're a bit low rise, but, you know, I just thought they were funky enough, quirky enough that somebody would want them. Um, yeah, that's metal as well. That's not embroidery. That is actually a metal thing. So I figured for a couple of quid, I'd take a gamble on those. It's quite a well-known brand. Um, they actually did have another pair, but they looked a lot more worn. And I thought I wasn't sure enough. You get really picky when everything's so cheap, don't you? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yes. I Now I've got to watch this back because I didn't see the, I didn't get to see all the, uh, of the chat chat thing last night, the video. Um, I've got to watch it back. I like, I want to sit there and play, but we had MasterChef last night. <laughs> Late dinner, followed by MasterChef, followed by having to get everything ready for school. So Sunday evenings are pretty dire around our house for me to actually sit and do it. Yes, you really are sorry, DBG, I can tell. Sorry, not <coughs> sorry. <laughs> but we don't want fighting. We can't have fighting in the room. <laughs> I don't. I think I've got one. I might have one tap point. I think I've got one tap point for a sciencey question uh, about a week or so ago. But um, I don't think I'm going to redeem it for anything super particularly valuable. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you all in here. Um, like I say, that that was the wee hall. Um, I have been wittering on. My God, for forty minutes. Dear God. Oh, George was lazy and didn't write the full title, so the public voted and gave it to me. Oh, ooh, awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. Oh dear. Well, just keep it, keep it nice, keep it polite. Love and light and <laughs> sparkly bits. <laughs> yeah, I think you're rubbing it in now, DBG. <laughs> I think you're just rubbing it in. <laughs> Oh dear, poor George. <laughs> oh dear, oh my. Yes, I must try and make some, get into one of those quizzes. The funny thing is, I never know the obvious questions like popular television and music, I, unless it's from some while ago. But then the silly, weird science questions are the ones I seem to know. <laughs> oh, the emojis are coming now. <laughs> oh, that looks like a shocked poo. Oh, yes, I, I, I don't speak emoji very well, so I will let that leave it there. So thank you for joining me. I'm sorry if the notifications didn't come through. Uh, you might want to try the the possible belling and debelling and rebelling again. Thanks to Ginger Witch for that for that new verb. And uh, and hopefully next time I do a live, <laughs> you will be able to come in. So tutty bye. Thank you for coming. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> yes, I do.